afternoon, folks. It's NTV Chief Meteorologist Eddie Shear here with your Saturday afternoon weather vlog. Weather today across the Avalon and adjacent areas of eastern Newfoundland certainly has been interesting. At my location in Torbay, we've seen rain, I've seen snow, I've seen ice pellets, and right now it does look like it is snowing. Uh, some other areas have seen rain for most of today, like around CBS. And really, as I've been saying for the last couple of days now, elevation playing a huge role. If you're 100 meters or near it, above, likely seeing snow. If you're below it, you're likely seeing wet snow not sticking or just plain old rain. And speaking of rain, we can see it raining downtown on the new Gower Street webcam, about 2.49 uh, p.m., which does not seem correct because my computer and my phone are telling me it's 2.27 p.m., so I think they have to adjust the clock there. Now, that being said, as we take a look around the city, Thorburn Road, up in elevation, seeing some snow. Windsor Lake, some snow sticking on the road. So some roads are going to begin to get slippery around the metro region and across much of the Avalon as we head into this evening, as the snow rates are only going to intensify from here on out. Kenmount Road, that's the northern side of Kenmount Road as you get up towards Paradise. So it's slippery there, but I imagine once you get, normally it's once you, you're heading toward downtown, past Cabot Ford, uh, generally there you seem to get into the transition zone from snow uh, over to rain uh, in situations like this. And then across the Avalon right now, as we take a look outside of uh, the overpass, if you will, uh, Snow and Fox Trap, Holyrood, seeing some snow, Salmon Line, camera not working, a little bit of snow around Whitburn, nothing overly impressive, Hearts Content Barrens look slippery, so if you're heading up that way, uh, be prepared for some snow. And then as we get off the Avalon and Goobies, we're seeing the snow. Clarenville looks like we're seeing the rain right now. Uh, onto the Buren Peninsula, Duns River, it's snowing, but as expected for the southern half of the Buren Peninsula, it's raining in Salt Pond, raining in Grand Bank. It should go over to snow there, but not until this evening. And onto the Bonavista Peninsula right now, looks like Port Rexton is pretty quiet. And as we get out towards Gander, pretty quiet. And some snow will fall across portions of northeastern Newfoundland, but not until we get into the overnight hours tonight, or perhaps... Uh, the evening, actually, is what I'm trying to say. Uh, as we take a look at the radar imagery, uh, what you can see here is the reflectivity. And I'll set this in a motion, and you can see the precipitation field moving southwest to northeast. And that's because our area of low pressure uh, is essentially sitting, our low is sitting somewhere down in here. And it's going to track pretty much like that as we go into the evening. So what's going to happen is this precipitation, which is kind of moving this way right now, is going to begin to kind of pivot and it's going to kind of make its way back a little bit farther west. But instead of moving in this direction, it's going to start kind of pivoting and the precipitation is going to uh, more or less kind of stay in this area and just kind of pivot on itself. So it's moving this way now is essentially going to begin to turn and uh, kind of hold over the Avalon Peninsula as we go on to this evening, as that's uh, what is going to happen. So how do I want to draw that out a little bit better? Um, let's see if I can draw this out a little better. So essentially the precip is like this now. It's basically going to rotate this way and that way as we go into this evening. So areas that remain under this precipitation band longest, we'll see the most rain and or snow out of this. Now on the Avalon, again, we are seeing that mix of rain and snow right now. And on this image here, it's kind of hard to pick out what's what. But as we look at the precipitation depiction product, it is showing all snow across the Avalon Peninsula. So this is a feature with the new radar. We can really get into trying to differentiate where precipitation is rain and where it is snow. And this product is okay for doing it, Another product which is a bit more advanced is called differential phase. So actually, excuse me, it's called differential reflectivity. So what this product is showing is essentially the size in the horizontal and vertical of the particulates in the air. So when you have real small particulates, which are going to be in this area down in here, you're likely seeing snowflakes. Where you start to see particulates that are reflecting higher decibels, um, you're likely seeing um, what's probably the rain and or ice pellets. So what we're seeing, at least on the radar imagery to my eye around the Avalon, is a fair bit of snow with also some ice pellets mixed in. 
So as you can see here, we have this, these blue showing up near Chapel's Cove, Holy Rood, uh, down towards Petty Harbor, Maddox Cove, and around St. John's. This is likely the radar picking up uh, some ice pellets. And there are going to be some ice pellets around as we go into the next few hours as temperatures aloft are a little bit warm. But as we go into this evening, we'll see things cool off and the majority of what falls for most of us on the Avalon will flip over to snow, at least in my opinion. And so again, we're not even close to being done with this. It's not going to be done with until late tonight or early tomorrow morning. And right now, it does look like in regard to temperatures, one degree, two degrees makes all the difference. So uh, for instance, as we take a look at temperatures here out in Logie Bay, two degrees right now. But uh, at the airport, it's zero. At my house, it's probably a little bit warmer than that, maybe 0 0.5 or so. So it's snowing. So in this area, so we're talking about a short distance, maybe 10 kilometers. So we're seeing rain along the coast. And as you get toward the airport, it's snowing. So there, there's a transition zone somewhere on the eastern slopes of the Avalon where we're seeing the rain go over to snow. And it does seem to be like around that 100 meter uh, elevation marker is where we're seeing that transition line. So what we can expect as we go into this evening is the following. So here's the RGEM model. This is the forecast for 2.30 this afternoon. We have the blue is snow, the pink is ice pellets, and the green is rain. And on the Avalon, we're going to see the ice pellets hang around for a couple of hours, at least at times. I do suspect when the precipitation is heavier, we're likely going to see less ice pellets and more snow. And when it's lighter, we're going to see more ice pellets and more rain mixing in and less in the way of snow. And again, that's 100 meters above, below 100 meters through the afternoon, primarily you are seeing rain. But once we get into this evening, 6, 7 o'clock, the low will begin to move to the east. And that begins to pull some colder air in as winds swing northerly. So as we go into this evening, what you'll notice is, at least on the model here, is that we'll begin to see more snow across the Avalon. That snow elevation may drop down to 50 or so meters overnight. So areas above 50 meters will likely see some accumulation overnight, but it's areas above 100 that will likely see that 10 to 20 centimeter forecast overnight into tomorrow morning. And it looks like by 7.30 tomorrow morning, we're still seeing rain or wet snow. It's light and it lightens up continuously as we go throughout the morning tomorrow. And by lunchtime, some lingering flurries or drizzle. And again, that will about do it. Now we are talking about um, accumulation. Let me see if I can pull up the picture for you that I want to show you. There it is. So again, this is this was my forecast uh, from last night on the news. And uh, I think it's working out pretty well so far. So again, northern half of the Avalon Peninsula, above 100 meters, we're talking about up to 20 centimeters of snow, but less near the coast due to mixing. So this is areas right on the water, probably not gonna see a whole lot. But inland areas, uh, higher elevations, that's like Mount Pearl, Paradise, uh, Hearts Content Barrens, areas inland a bit, even inland a bit right off the east coast. So like Torbay could see 10, 12 centimeters in parts of Torbay and down by Torbay Beach, you know, you might get two or three. So it's going to vary quite widely depending upon your elevation, which is what I've been saying. But once we're west of Clarenville, it looks, although right now it's raining in Clarenville, but once we're west of Clarenville, uh, should be primarily snow. And then we're talking about amounts of five to 10 centimeters with locally higher amounts, but I would lean in that five to 10 range is what seems to be most likely at this time. So again, we are watching the uh, snow continue across the uh, Avalon Peninsula and across Eastern areas of Newfoundland this evening, this afternoon. Some of it is rain, some of it is snow, and we're really, we're several, several hours away from this being over. So uh, we're, not, we're not done yet. We have a night to get through and then tomorrow morning we'll be done with this. So. This is probably going to be my only weather update for today as uh, my little girl is uh, home and I'm having a great time playing dad to her today. So uh, I will uh, talk to you folks tomorrow and I uh, hope you found this informative and uh, I suppose that's it for now. Stay safe, have a great Saturday and uh, we'll talk tomorrow.